Good morning. Welcome to our Seeing Jesus in the Gospel of Mark. Today we're looking at Mark 1, verses 6 through 8. Let me read it for you. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and, and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey, and he preached, saying, There comes one after me who is mightier than I, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. I indeed baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. So here we are again at the beginning of the Gospel of Mark, and look what we have. What we have here is a tremendous response uh, in the first verses, and then we have John introduced, and he is the forerunner. He is a proclaimer. And Before Jesus comes, there's always a forerunner. There's always one who announces Messiah. In the time of Jesus, John the Baptist was that person. Uh, but there is not only a first coming, so to speak, but there's a second coming, and that's where you and I come in. We are, uh, who is the forerunner? Who's proclaiming and announcing the return of Jesus today? Well, today it will be, again, a John the Baptist figure or a John the Baptist kind of people. Who is that going to be? We'll see as we get further into our study that uh, there will be a people. You and I need to be that kind of like John the Baptist. We need to be the ones proclaiming the Lord is coming. Uh, we are the, taking that role here. Now, if you'll notice in the text I read to you, uh, we have a baptism by John, a baptism with water, but the one who comes baptizes with the Holy Spirit. We really need the Holy Spirit. How did Jesus, how was he victorious in the wilderness and the temptations there? He was victorious by the Holy Spirit. How was he victorious in his temptations on the cross and in the Garden of Gethsemane? By the Holy Spirit, he was victorious. So here what we have is a fact that what you and I need, if we're going to be that proclaiming a person, uh, that group of people who proclaim, we need the Holy Spirit. So right before we're getting into more of the, the initial things that happened here in the Gospel of Mark, right at the beginning we're hearing about, you know, we need to have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. There's three, there's one God. And he's manifest in three distinct persons. That's what the Bible teaches. It may be a bit difficult to understand uh, because there's nothing really in the natural world that exactly fits for that. But we'll find that this is, this is what the Bible teaches. You know, we're committed to what the Bible teaches. God is one, and God is three. We, we, we hold on to both of those truths. So whatever the Bible teaches, uh, we either will be able to figure out how they fit together, or we'll just uh, accept those things, and God can give us more data at a future time when we're more able to understand it. So it's a very good thing that there are three the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we need the Holy Spirit, and He can be with us throughout our day. We need Him at the beginning of each day. Let me invite you to pause with me right now, and let's pray for the Holy Spirit. Dear Father in heaven, as we begin our day, we want the Holy Spirit. We want the person of the Holy Spirit to come to us and be in us and to influence us, we, ourselves, the person, me. We need the Holy Spirit to help, Lord. So may this divine presence come to us and be with us. May our words and thoughts be influenced for good so that we can be proclaimers and announcers of the return of the Messiah, just as John the Baptist was. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. God be with you on this wonderful new day we have to be Christians.